Okay, here's a little demo of the uh, Helicrafters SX-71. Uh, I got it tuned on 10 meters. Um, just heard of someone out in uh, California calling uh, CQ. Uh, just zero beated their signal. Okay, somebody else picked them up. Uh, down in the hand shack today. Anyway, Ray, Ray Watts from Wisconsin, um, coming in pretty well in California. GPH is uh, Santa Monica. Santa Monica, and my name is Lily. Lily, 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 Lily. Right, I think I've worked this guy before. Lily. So, uh, nice thing. <coughs> what are you using for an antenna? Let's zoom in there. KSDROI from WQ6 Chinchero. Looks like he's right about uh, 21, uh, 29 megahertz, maybe 2910, something like that, 2920. Uh, dial resolution on the SX-71 isn't uh, that great. <clears throat> well, you can see there the, uh, the pointer there is right near uh, 29 on the 10 meter scale. Not too much activity today. It's October 27th, 2013, in the afternoon. There was a big contest on earlier. It looks like that, that must be over. I'm going to tune here a little bit. Oh, right there. Uh, yeah, see, now that took out my scroll bar. Yeah. A little more activity here. A different call sign, but close. This is trying to get out of Germany Tango. Um, in Texas. This is Victor Reco 6 Charlie Queen. Good afternoon. There's a big signal. Of course, we can't hear the other side of the conversation. I'm in Michigan, so uh, all these uh, stations are pretty much out west. Turn a little more. I'm trying on the rotate, uh, rotate up at the 60 foot level. Uh, yeah, I'm on an old jump too, uh, a little bit more sophisticated and down to the 50s. Uh, jump and bike in the range of one transmitter. And uh, I'm driving some 572Vs, about 125 watts of carrier. The antenna is a clear wire element. Oh, my kids. Okay, you guys. Uh, anyway, um, coming in well with some good, good 10 a.m. signals this afternoon, so you picked a good time to get back on the air. Uh, Switch the noise limiter off and clean up the audio a little bit. Not sure what that uh, interference is today. That grinding buzz there. I get that from time to time. But not all the time, so. Yeah, very interesting. Just getting the information in the logbook here. You're absolutely right. Good, Steve. You've got some knowledge of the, uh, of the old stuff. Um, uh, that's exactly, that is exactly what it is. Uh, so you must have some experience. You get the idea that it's it, it, there, people don't really, uh, they might think, oh, well, that's kind of an experience, but well, I look at somebody else's there and uh, I see a calc up or whatever, I got to just think and realize that when they put it on, it looks good on their computer. Well, not too much interesting here right That's now. That's why I go back and forth between the two. It's staggering because... <clears throat> that Canadian station there is uh, so real nice. 
has a very very velvet sound to it it's very smooth and and i'm not saying that that's not good it can get very loud and well anyway the sx71 does uh, work on 10. <coughs> not the best receiver but, but certainly not the worst very nice smooth rounded kind of a flat sound to it so under conditions where you've got signals and noise ratios that are unbelievable well, there you go, yes. Kind of Helicopter's SX-71 kind of from, uh... But this is where oh, what year was this? Where they came out with, I can uh, find out. ...with clipping. And, uh, this other multiband unit I have is of, uh, about 10 to 15 years newer than the monoband. Of course, the lid won't open now that I want to open. Clipping it capacity. It has the, uh, something to break the audio up into the fortified band. So everything is being pro pro uh, processed independently. Uh, the problem with it's like it is that 1953, November 1953. It brings in uh, significant loudness. Uh, in fact, using nominal levels of clipping, I can produce a the inside of the SX-71 on the air than what uh, what I could with the monoband compressor. Pretty clean in there. This particular and one. Higher modulation peaks. If I I've set this thing up and done many many tests and run much much higher uh, 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 audio peaks. Right there's the date. On the mono band compressor, I come back to the uh, multi band compressor using uh, symmetrical audio, but using a maybe a couple of dB of clipping. And yeah, it I says November thirteenth. People say, oh yeah, that's much louder. And uh, it has November thirteenth, nineteen fifty three. I believe that's what it says is that the um this anyway. particular box whoops let's drop the lid i hear the, the roughness or graininess well that's but enough for now i guess something that you can't just get with limiting and compression you're getting loudness that only clipping can get, then it becomes a very, very fine trade-off. But the uh, the clipping is uh, absolutely There's the helicopter's SX-71, 10 meters. And I guess the benefit of clipping Hope you enjoyed. over limiting is that it can only buy you so 